Good morning, loved ones and friends and family and people just discovering this channel for the first time. I want to say welcome and thank you for coming. Um, it is September 4th, 2022. Uh, cloudy day out here in Michigan. But I will say, man, yesterday was really nice because I got to see the Tigers and the Royals game. Uh, it was my very first baseball game. I got to go with my uh, dear friend and brother, Sawyer. So shouts out to Sawyer, man. It was a real nice experience and stuff like that. And to see all these good, great players, man, like Green and Castro for the Tigers, uh, really busting their buns out there, man, trying their best, even though they lost 12 to 2. It's kind of crazy, but you know what, man? They're playing again today and uh, still at the same place. So the Royals are playing the Tigers again. And uh, it's a it's a blessing, man, to see like these athletes. Uh, even if you're not into sports, man, I really recommend like you go out there and like you catch a game because uh, it's insane, man. What these guys can do is phenomenal. The way they hit the ball, they contort their bodies in positions to catch the ball and run up the wall and all this thing, man, and a lot of good hustle. Um, of course, even with baseball, man, it's really good uh, cardiovascular health. Uh, running back and forth, running around the bases, standing there, um, and good uh, hand-eye coordination, man, because like, you got to be really on par to hit that ball, man, if not a home run, just to hit it in general. So, you know, definitely, man, like we make this channel if you're going through things, um, even if you're not going through things, man, I just want you to be your best version, um, especially in this day and age, in this universe. There's a lot of wickedness going on and people out there, they unfortunately want to keep you down just because everybody um, wants all the benefit and the reward. I don't know if you guys always uh, ever watched the SpongeBob episode or SpongeBob at all. And they were looking for the the treasure, I guess. Um, the Duchess, whatever his name is, I think that was something like that. And um I remember it was uh, SpongeBob and Patrick, and then it was Mr. Krabs. And um, Mr. Krabs was saying all for one, and then SpongeBob and Patrick was saying one for all. And that's more my personality, man. I, you know, we live in this world, and a lot of people, it's just like this rat race, and you got to get this money, and it's so important and i understand money is important you need it to live and to do fun things hey if i didn't have money uh i couldn't have seen the baseball game yesterday but don't make that your main main goal it really should be secondary you should be searching for happiness um you should be searching for peace and if you have those things you'll know because you'll have this nirvana with you you'll have this bliss this real bliss peace where you never really fully reach enlightenment um but you'll have that good feeling in you and that good energy where yeah you're always gonna have um bad days here and there but some days are good some days are bad um but just remember man it's just one of those things like you gotta do something that makes you happy in the day and you gotta help people and try your best and if you have a setback hey a setback is nice because don't look at a setback as you're all the way back. Uh, give it a new term of like uh, like a bookmark. Because you're not really going back. Um, you're really just stopping right here and you're learning what you have to do to keep going up. So never get discouraged out there. Uh, relapses, setbacks with anything. They're really bad, but um, you know what? You guys got this. Anyway, man, the topic of the video that I wanted to do today is controlling your thoughts. Um, and this don't have to go out to people who just have uh, anxiety, depression, OCD, uh, PTSD, uh, if you're schizophrenic, uh, and literally anything, uh, you're pretty much gonna experience this. You get this altered state. Some people will call it psychosis. Um, I've heard other terms of, um, Go, I'm drawing a blank here. Um, it's almost like you're, um, they said like they feel like they're in a movie or in a video game, whatever you word it. And you know, you're just, 
there's there's that sometimes you got like this bad brain fog sometimes uh intrusive thoughts which intrusive thoughts never really get alarmed if you get them uh because i'm a big believer of you are your actions and not your thoughts um intrusive thoughts of course are if you have like pretty much stuff that's not morally aligned with you and i know man there's people out there and they they really feel guilty um, when they get these thoughts like man I'm, I'm crazy or i'm a bad person why am i thinking that or i want to act on that and not necessarily you know i heard a good um a good mentor man and i'm trying to think of his name and i'm gonna start like leaving uh, some of the names down in the description um but he was like a guru to say uh, indian guru man and he was like he's fire the way he put this he was like if you think of water you're not drowning and if you think of fire you're not getting burnt and that's to say man if you're getting these thoughts like you want to harm somebody or yourself until you actually do that and you're like that's what you want then i would seek some uh, sort of reinsurance or uh help from uh medical professional i am not unfortunately so don't come to me i mean i'm always available if you guys need somebody to talk to or just hear you out i'm not uh, licensed or trained uh, i'm just somebody who really goes through it and for me man i don't know about y'all i'd rather really go to somebody who really has knowledge and experience about it i ain't about to go to the uh the the accountant down there on the street who uh, he lives in a cardboard box and he's like, yeah, man, I ain't got no money, but I know what to do with your money. But yeah, I know what you're going to do with my money. <laughs> you better have a field day. Or, uh, you know, I'm looking for a house and I go to a car mechanic. I mean, come on, man. Like like I said, definitely you guys have to go to professionals if you're uh, battling your demons or you got certain problems that you want to address. Um... But like I said, man, in my opinion, I know a lot of people, it's just one of those things. It's like the brain pl uh, playing an allure on you. I know uh, very uncomfortable situations is uh, first time waking up in the morning and you're getting them. You're like, oh, man, I think it's just because you're already up. Your cortisol is already high. You know, you're kind of like this. And also, um for me, I don't like if you ever get them like, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night uh, to use a restroom or just to adjust yourself while you're sleeping or before bedtime because it puts you in the wrong thing. But I will tell you this, man. So I do uh, always tell you guys to meditate and all these good stuff. Well, remember this with meditation. If you can, and it's hard because I know we live life, man, and it keeps going. It don't slow down for you. I know, man. That's why you got to take every day with gratitude and you got to be grateful for it and very blessed also this man and this is and this is not even if you have a problem if you're going through something this is just for anybody don't bring your problems with you um to you know when you go home and go go to sleep and stuff like that so let's just say you're um you're going to sleep and stuff like that uh, right before you go to sleep, man, put yourself in a good Zen mark. So let's just say that, um, you know, we're about to go to sleep or we're getting ready for bedtime. Hear me out, y'all. Don't go in there with your problems. Don't go in there thinking what you got to do the next day. If you got a journal before you go to bed, do this. And it's hard. It will take some practice. You won't get it the first time. But hear me out. If you go to bed and you're just in the zenful mind and you're trying to get right and stuff like that, and you're in this mindset of, hey, um, you know, I want to go to sleep and I want to feel good and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I just want to be in this right mindset. You know, you're going to have this thing when you wake up or when you wake up to go to the restroom to adjust yourself, you'd be like, wait a minute. Uh, I went to sleep doing that. That's why it's like if you have to do it with YouTube and watch waterfalls or if you got to watch um, beaches or you got to hear the sound effects, whatever you have to do. If you got to pray, do this, do that. Make sure you do that before bedtime and keep doing all the things I'm telling you. Meditate, pray, have faith, eat good, sleep good, have good friends. Anyway, man, like I said, 
Um, I love you guys. Keep keep doing what you're doing. Uh, life only gets better. And trust me, we're all in this together. And keep being your best version, man. It's Eric Crawford. You know what time it is. Michigan, stand up. Florida, stand up. Georgia, stand up. California, stand up. New York, stand up. Japan, Germany, Italy, Africa, India, and everybody stand up. Y'all have a blessed one, man. I'm out.